Okay, so today I want to show you what to do if you get a car that has one of these breathalyzer things in it. As you know, if you do have a breathalyzer machine in it, you cannot, it will not do anything as far as starting up. It will give you that and that, but it will not let you start the vehicle. So, what you have to do is call the company and get a bypass code. And I'm going to call the company and get the bypass code for today. And then we will proceed on. Okay, so as I was saying, um, there are some cars out there that, that still need maintenance, but they'll have what's called an interlock device on it. You know, where you have to, uh, you know, blow on this thing here. And uh, that will unlock the car so that the car will start. Um, I ain't trying to be funny or nothing, but I ain't blowing on another man's or another woman's um, blow toy or apparatus, whatever you want to call this thing. <laughs> um, but as a mechanic or a technician, you can call the company. In this case, the name of the company is Monotech, and you can get a, um, a, a, a bypass code so that you can work on the car. As I say, with this thing on here, this car will not start whatsoever. As you can see, and it'll give that warning saying that the vehicle start is not allowed. So, at that point, as a mechanic, it makes it kind of hard for you because it's like, well, what do I do to get past this thing? You can't take it out without causing the customer some problems, and um, <laughs> uh, you don't want to go through that. So, what you do is you call the company, in this case it's Monotech, you call them and get your um, bypass code. I'll show you how to do that. Um, it's a 1-800 number. Call them, and there's a few steps there um, in which to get it. You'll have to send them an invoice, and uh, they'll want to know what shop you are, stuff like that. It's pretty simple, but it takes a little time sometimes. It's best to call them in the evening. There's less people on the line, and you can get through pretty fast. Okay, so I called and got a code for today. Today's code is 61169. Now, don't be smart and try to use this code on your own machine because each code is different, and they generate these codes based upon the vehicle, based upon the day of the year. I mean, it's not, yeah, don't waste your time. Okay, so basically what you want to do here is, um, Use of this device does not um, guarantee the driver's ability to safely operate a motor vehicle. Okay. Please buckle your seatbelt, hold okay. trigger, and hum while blowing into the Thank mouthpiece. Thank you for the warning. Okay. All right, so basically what you want to do is you want to get it to, um, maintenance mode. Okay. Okay, so first thing you want to do is um, you get your lockout code, which today's code is 61169. And then you come to the thing here. And you can either hit back or next. Um, um, you don't want to hit the trigger button because I think that activates it, so you have to blow in it or something. But anyway, I'm not qualified to blow on this thing, but I do have the code, so I don't have to blow on it. Now, one other thing, down here at the bottom, once you put this code in, you'll have to disconnect this thing. And for time's sake, what I recommend is go ahead and get something to take that loose. Because after you put the code in, you'll have 10 seconds to disconnect this piece totally. So if you already have that ring loose, it makes it a lot easier there to get loose. All right, so first thing what you want to do is um, hit the next button till you see... Um, Start test, don't want bypass language, move unit, service code. Alright, so then you hit, um, you want to, uh, <clears throat> well, you have service, you, know, you have override, service appointment, system info, set wake up, start, set volume, language, remove unit. But for what we need is service. Once you find service, you hit the trigger down there. Okay. And then it's going to set, cut call you what to do. At eight, zero, the number. Zero, call five, two, one, All right. Four, two, so four, I've already called six. them. Alright, since I've already called them and have the code, then I'll hit next. Use the buttons to set and each it'll tell you to set each Press digit. Press the trigger to select. Okay. So, our code is 61169. So what we do is, we'll six, pull the trigger. One, it's six one one. Six nine. Now, once you get your 
number you need, you pull the trigger and it'll pull over to the next spot, 6-9. Service code accepted. Okay, service code to enable accepted. service mode, you must remove unit now. So now you have 10 seconds to remove the unit once you put that code in. And remember that little ring? So we already got that loose like so. I got that loose. Then you just simply um, pull it out. Kind of hard to do it one hand. So you simply pull that out. That comes loose. That goes off. Okay, now that you've completed that step and you've disconnected the unit, I like to just like lay it down there, put it down there in the floorboard. You've disconnected those two pieces. Now you can stick the key in and you can turn the key in. The car will try to start and you can perform your maintenance, work on it, whatever. Caution, this right here, you cannot leave this in the on position no more than 30 minutes or then you'll have to put that little box thing back on put the code back in and complete the process it's a really big pain in the neck if you have to like trace electrical circuits and stuff like that but on other than that that's how you do it um, also whenever um, it gets close to the time that that um, code that they gave you is going to wear out you'll hear like a little alarm thing it sounds like a little um, cricket or something or and they'll probably do that every uh, I think it was like every uh, five minutes, ten minutes, and it seemed like it got like closer and closer. It seemed like the increments of what it, which it would go off. Um, so that'll that'll go off like that, and, and go, doo -doo 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 -doo, and that'll let you know, hey, you're getting close to your 30 minute increment, and you'll need to, you know, plug that thing back up and redo it if you haven't um, figured out what was wrong with it and gotten the car fixed. So I just wanted to share that little bit of information with YouTube. If you have any questions, please um, 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 send me an a, um, email or something, um, chat post, you know. But um, it can be very cumbersome <laughs> trying to work on a car like this. But, um, you know, if you stick to it and you follow the steps, you know, you can get by and get into it. Again, for those of you who have this device in your car and you want to be a smart ass and try to put those codes in, it's not going to work because those codes are generated for each car. And it's only good for a day and, like I said, it will only work for like 30 minutes anyway. So, use that knowledge how you want to. I hope I help some people out. Until next time, YouTube, have a great night. Please subscribe, chat, post, share this with the world.